The Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress on Monday what? night, that is June the 5th, 2023, suspended their strike schedule from Wednesday. The decision followed a meeting by the representative of the federal government and organized labor at the presidential villa on Monday night over for subsidy removal. The Speaker of the House of Representatives and the newly appointed Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabiamela, who disclosed the outcome of the meeting to State House correspondent, read a communique stating that the agreement struck between the NLC, TUC, and the team set up by the President, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, to discuss the issue arising from the stress of the removal has been reached. According to him, the federal government and the TUC and the Nigerian <laughs> Labour Congress would establish a joint committee to review the proposal for any wage increase or award and establish a framework and timeline for implementation. But earlier on Monday, the National Industrial Court restrained the organized labor from embarking on any form of strike. Ruling on an ex parte application filed before the court, Justice O.Y. Anuwe restrained the defendants, that's the TUC and the Nigerian Labor Congress, from embarking on the planned nationwide strike on Wednesday, pending the hearing and determination of the motion of notice dated June 5th of 2023. The judge also ordered that the defendant be immediately served with the originating process, the motion of on notice and the order of the court. The motion of notice is fixed for hearing on June 19th, 2023. The federal government and the attorney general of the federation are applicants in the matter. But the big question and the big story for today is will these boats put a final stop and end the dispute between the federal government and labor on the issue of the fuel subsidy removal or is just a drag of the eventual date well, all of this and more as it concerns the suspension of the planned strike of Nigerian Labor Congress and the issue of the subsidy removal is what this edition of the Big Story is all about. And that is for subsidy removal and the suspension of the planned strike by Labor. And that's what we're having as a major discourse today on the Big Story. We're talking about that suspension uh, of the planned strike that normally would have uh, started tomorrow by the Nigerian Labor Congress on account of both an agreement reached by uh, that very team of the federal government and labor, but also of um, that court order restraining labor also for embarking on that strike. But anyway, to help us really look at both angles and also give us an insight into the discussion, we have no other person but um, a legal luminary. And we're talking of no other person but Barrister Casey Omoerabo. Good morning and welcome to the show, sir. Good morning, man. Good morning, viewers. Well, anyway, it's only timely we really look at this, uh, judging that many were anticipating a strike to commence tomorrow. But, well, a quick turn of events that took place yesterday, both turn of events. I do know, yes, the NLC has suspended the strike action and has talked about uh, reconvening on the issue on the 19th of uh, these months. We sound funny, being that... Um, Look at it in two ways because it, why, why many look at it have it been funny? There was a meeting going on between the federal government and labor, and, and even between that meeting and industrial court restraining labor for embarking on the strike came also during the meeting. But I want us to first remain with the issue of the court because let's 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 start with the court before we go into that agreement also during which. I know the National Industrial Court said it was empowered by Section 7B of uh, the NIC Act of 2006 in restraining Nigerian Labor Congress on going on that strike. But when I also looked at some section of that very act, NIC Act of 2006, Section 16 and 19A also in every way seem to have granted the courts that quick restraint. But my question is, on the mining they feel they use section 7, subsection, uh, section 7B in restraining the Nigerian Labor Congress, but the urgency in which he, the Labor Congress was hold or restrained is where it stands. So does the power 
or rather does the court have that power to immediately put a plug not just restraining them on that but it's been served immediately and them em stopping to embark on the strike immediately do the court have that big power to do so thank you well let me talk as a lawyer yes i'll love lawyer. i'll love you to talk as yes. a lawyer and look at those two sections i read section 16 and 19a which says they have the power to grant urgent interim relief as to stop the purported action of NLC yeah. of the strike. Yeah, you would have asked what was the urgency of the Italian regime. You see, the problem is Nigerians should learn to know that yeah. almost all settled of the economy have failed, including the judiciary. Yeah. What was what was it? Let me tell you, there's a, a place in law. People yeah. must always be talking of reading re written law. Yeah. There are law that are improvised. There are laws that are silly and there are laws that, that are not within the ambit of a written constitution or a written statute. But that law is actually the law. Now, if a, a court could restrain your wife from bearing children, can that be carried out? If a court should stop you from eating, is it not sentencing you to death? So, what was the. Before a court gives order, it is to cure and a cure an emergency or cure. cure a, 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 a havoc. Mm. What was it that was likely to be the mischief that the court gave an order to arrest? Mm. That the people says, oh, the first day our president was inaugurated is a, a pronouncement that making the whole country suffer immediately. What we're buying for 200,000, not 200 naira, moved immediately to 700 naira. How can we afford it? The people can no longer eat. Go about the whole street now. Mm. There's no hold up. No, I mean, vehicles are moving. They are all packed. The activity has gone down. The dust cannot run. People cannot buy a, a fuel. This can, no, nothing there. The country, no light, nothing. Because one man has just made a pronouncement. The only organ we have that normally unite with us to at least say mm. no is the Nigerian Labour Congress. And we know that since the absence of as far as the staff of Ayuba, the Nigerian Labour Congress has seen this. I've seen the compromise that nobody believes in them again. God, one, they are only self serving, they are only talking for the workers, not Nigerians. How many Nigerians are employed in this whole service? It's not right. even workers in this. We'll come to yeah. that, but okay, I'm, let I'm me go to the court, yeah, again. because I'm really concerned yeah. about the court. Because one, yes, yes. the, the does, court, do they have the, that? The court cannot give an them. order in vacuum. Do Rales Kodjid at the possibility? The court cannot pronounce on the impossible. If the pronounce on the court, the court for that chaos. And you mean we are in a radical country? That or that means in the court means was not to burn down that court. People will get angry. You are not going to solve the problem. Why don't you restrain the government from increasing the fire now? Immediately, why don't you restrain the government from increasing that fire now until the issue has resolved? But they do have the power, looking at what the judge said yesterday, Section 7. B of the Industrial B Court 2006 Act. Yes. Do does the court have that power to put a hold on like the I strike? Like I just told you, you, like I just told you, no power is expressed. Every 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 right has own limitation, has okay. its own obligation. Before you look at what the court, what the power, what the, the law empowers you to do, mm. you must look at what it will create. Okay. Now now now, it, it, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up on what it will create. Yes. And now let, let let let's quickly and holistically look at it. Now, according to the court, it said that why instituted that hold. Yes. of purported action of the NLC yes. was largely so that it will not uh, affect the well-being of the larger population on account of <laughs> NLC going on that strike. Okay. That's why they There's said they There's what we call a balance of convenience in law. In, in, in making an injunction, an injunctive mm. order, they what we call balance of, of convenience, maintaining the status quo, antebellum, and all other ancillary mm. relief. Mm. What is the balance of convenience that made the judge make that thing? Is it, bad, is it better to restrain the NLC from going to uh, going on strike so that the country will not burn, or is it better to have restrained the federal government from increasing the force? But, 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 but the court only ac uh, acted on account of the lawyer of the federal government, which revealed the scenario that may 
greatly affect the larger society and well-being of the nation at large. So, on that ground, it had to take the relief of the federal government. Yes, I because know the federal that government the, the claimant or rather, went to court. Yes, the, the, the person who laid the complaint to court is the federal government. Yes. So, their prayer is what they answer. So, wouldn't that the Labour Congress on, done similar before now, no. rather than having the like federal government run to the court like, first? Look, look um, let me come back now as an activist. Okay. Do you know the so-called federal the Labour Congress are arranged and they are part of the federal government? <laughs> Look at the meeting they're holding now. Okay. They, they merely went, you know, because before they were served, they were aware. Before they were, they, they they fired, were in the meeting. Uh, before they went to file in court, the liberal have only agreed that only court order will feel bill. If we go to people, we'll okay, well, let, 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 let's, let's not bring, this, this let's not, not Barry somewhere about, yes. let's not bring speculation. You know about speculation? It. We've grown now. Okay, okay. Well, if, yeah. you, if you feel that's okay, the okay, count, okay, let us follow the game. Let's just follow I what is I on the court. Look at. I mean, the court was really seized of the whole facts. Yes. I have not seen the affidavit. Okay. That please, if we go on industrial action, the production will low. Yeah. There will be no people going to work. Yes. And many people will suffer. So, so, will so suffer was lose. what the federal government prayed. Please, the federal government will suffer lose. Mm -hmm. Please, upon this, we want you to give us an injunction to restrain them. What could normally do this is to say, look, put the other person on notice. Okay. Let the both parties come and argue before me. To so see I will see I'll the give. balance of convenience. Okay. But immediately, without even hearing the other side, how they attack a pattern, you have quickly granted it. Uh, uh, so uh, that's, that, that brings me back to my question. Yes. That's the first question I asked you. So do you feel it was hurriedly done by the court and the yes. federal government? Yes. It, it will not do this. People don't like what I say. It was an arranged judgment. Okay, now, that now, is it. Now, let, let, let's leave the arrangement there, but come to this. Now, can't the Nigerian Labour Congress also file a stay of execution of the induction and go ahead with the plans? Thank you. That, that, is, that is if you have a real Nigerian Labour Congress. <laughs> if we have a Nigerian Labour Congress with Omar Abu as their lawyer, watch us move. Okay. So, but then we take one of them. Oh. You, who will pay the lawyer in the federal government? <laughs> who can tell the federal Who will take the lawyer to them? My beg. The truth is that we do not have any labor union now. Okay. The days of Shimole, down of, of uh, Hassan Subonu, the days are past. Not now. Oh, okay, now let, 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 let's leave that. Don't mind ah. me, I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> yes. but, but anyway, let's leave the, the funny part of it. But let's come to the surprising part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a bit surprised yes. and a bit confused. Now, this is my reason of asking you this next question. Yes. Because that order was coming on a day the NLC returned to the negotiating table. This if you could still remember, earlier on Friday, they refused meeting the federal government. Yes. It was only the trade union congress that had a meeting with the federal government when they put for about 200,000 naira yes. minimum wage from the federal government. Yes. So, but I'm, I'm really, really, because this is where my question lies now, why I'm really surprised and confused is the Labour Congress has always said they are not going to have any negotiation with the federal government until the federal government returned to status quo. Yes. But they had that meeting yesterday. And funny enough, as they were really going on with that meeting, a court injunction came. Yes. So my question is, I'm just... So the federal government was fighting with one hand and it was negotiating with the other. That's what happened yesterday. My because if you look at it, they were really looking at, oh, if the meeting fails, maybe now we'll have to bring the court order to restrain the Nigerian Labour Congress. So, but my question is, is this not a pure desperation from the federal government to ensure that Nigerian Labour Congress does not go on a strike on account of the economic hardship that strike would bring to Nigeria? Or do you feel the federal government is just only out to get its way and its will? Hence, they did what they did. Because they were fighting with one hand and negotiating with the other My yesterday. fellow Nigerians, we are all in what people in what we call a one chance. We are into a buzz that have no destination. The new president came in on the first day. He did not say any palliative word that will make us feel happy that we have got a new government. He came with a warning that we should be prepared to suffer. And with the people we have that would have spoken to us. Why? Let me ask you, Mike. Mm -hmm. From the 29th, why do we have to wait till 7 before we can go on strike? You don't have to give time for a lobby and all that. You know this is just like doing the... But, but should that naturally not be the stand? Should no. that not be the way? Immediately that pronouncement was made on the 29th. The nation already were up in uproar. That very 29th in the 9th, the Nigerian you know, uh, 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 Congress and the, and, and, and the TUC would immediately meet. That have not been labor. 
Then on the next day, on Monday, then that Monday they will send uh, for the minister or whoever was in charge. Now that mm. look, we are going to go on strike if you do not revive. Please put it in strike school first. Not discuss before you pronounce it. Nobody will wait waiting till on the seventh so that we have room for lobby and bribery and meeting and then we now come and say we are suspending. Oh, go to court or give us serve the junction. Then we don't have leaders in the Labour Congress. That's the truth. So when if we had if we had immediately say on this first or second we are outside by now, then before we suspend, we say suspend the preparedness. You see the the, the so the so all you are has, saying Nigerian Labour Congress would have attacked first, yes. then retreat later. Yes. Is that what you're then saying? If Nigerian Labour Congress has told everybody down tools until they remove remove and until they they remove the fair price, where government would have said, look, let me tell you, all oil sector remain in status quo until we negotiate. And remember that this price of petroleum mm. affects even the poor farmer in the village. And poor even affects even your poor old mother for to eat. Because to bring yam from mm. I can't go there down to what you sell is new transportation. Yeah. So for going to come here is for new transportation. Mm. The, the increase in fuel affects all sectors of the economy. Therefore, if the federal government on this first day, before making such pronouncements, would have put caution in, 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 in places. Now, we are on Nigerian people went to negotiate. They didn't go to negotiate on foreign price. They negotiated on increment of salary. Yeah, but, yeah I, I want us to go there because if we're having this discussion <laughs> without looking at the agreement being reached by yes. the federal government and labor, yes. it will just amount to nothing. But yeah, I needed us to clear the issue of the, the court. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that the court order, the best way I feel, I'm not the judge. Yes. You know, let's call it the judge. Yeah? Mm. The, judge the judge has his own power. Mm. He has his own limitation, he has immunity. Mm. He can if you air, you can go and clear that air on the court of appeal. Yeah. But as ordinarily, what the judge is supposed supposed to do is what will benefit the majority of the country. Not the few and people. A strike only. action embarking on a strike action would it not affect the majority of the country? No, it would have benefited the majority. On how it, it would court. have sent a first warning to the new president that ah, we still have an SEO. Ah, no, please. Uh, in that same day, like Nancy Mandela, you come and I say, "Why well, federal government made a mistake? We are suspending the removal of uh, subsidy. Let federal government decide this court. We shall send the committee to look into it." And besides, before the federal, the federal government even made that pronouncement that day, he did set up a committee mm -hmm. to look into the various sector on how it will affect people. Where you going to just punish us without even involving us? A thing that concerns us, you are removing federal subsidy without consultation, and with that the first day of your swearing. Not that you have been the president, not that you have been the one who's happening there. Who sent you? So I thought that <coughs> if it's a democratic elected president as you claim to be, we elected you for our well being. Remember that South Popular and Supreme and less. The welfare of the populace is the supreme law. Okay, now, now, um, no, uh, what, what you, yeah, yeah I, I, I want to also bring this now because you, you said the judge was hasty in his decision. Yes. But, but do you feel if he had allowed that negotiation to happen? We might not have even entered no, the strike no on Wednesday. That very day, mm. you know, it's a judge now. Mm. I want this meta, me, this uh, motion served today. Okay. He will come back here. Mm. They do it every day now. Okay. They will have been given an order that this motion, I'm not going to take it as party. I want you to serve today, today. Tomorrow, by uh, 2 p.m., come here. Okay. Two, two, the two lawyers will argue it. Okay. And then the Nigerian nation will be aware. Okay. Then the judge will, the, the judge will have been fair by him on two sides. Okay. And they make the pronouncement that said the whole world are blessed. Okay. No. But, but can't also, because that, that brings me to my uh, earlier question, can't also the Nigerian Labour Congress go to court, appeal that very ruling, and put a plug on state of execution of that very My injunction? brother, you remember our system, as a matter. How they went to court here and there and then, and finally were forced to stop strike and go back. Did the, the court order do anything to do? So, what do you have to say that? Yeah. If the Grand Labor Congress, I don't even know where that is, one of their lawyers, one of the was president. If the Grand Labor Congress still really they are with their name well, if they have asked their legal department, yeah. immediately they were served with that order. Yes. That order has only seven days' effect. Of course, it does. That seven days expires. And they wouldn't have even gone to a negotiation when you are negotiating now with left hand, or someone that has your right hand. They're, they're not all pulled out. And yet they could come and pronounce that they have suspended the, the strike. You are not saying that we have betrayers. Okay, and well, there's somebody you, 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 we are in the meeting negotiating, mm. and there's already judgment on you. And you seek a with that meeting, and you now come back and we agree. Then you are a conspirator. 
Okay, well, that is true. Well, before we bring that conspiracy theory into it, I'll plead with you for us to hold on. We need to go on a break now, but we'll come back and look at the agreement also because it was not all fight, fight, but we also had smiles being uh, put out at the end of the day, especially after that negotiation. We'll come to the agreement reached by Labour and also uh, the federal government on account of what transpired yesterday and a reason for them also suspending the strike action. Let's go on a break.